Hey comic fans, welcome to another edition of your Cosmic Comic Book Broadcast. Yeah, your friendly neighborhood comic book broadcaster back with another video. And I want to take this chance to say thank you for those of you who saw my uh, previous video about all these old comic books that I found recently. And um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a few of these uh, videos showing you some of these old comic books that I found. Uh, the last time I mentioned that um, I'd be doing this as often as possible. Did I say that? I think I said that. If not, this is the first time I've said it. Anyway, let's get to this batch of comics. Um, this is something that I collected way back when I was still in school. So there was many, many, many moons ago. Uh, before we continue, just want to say, uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, um, leave me a comment, uh, leave me a like, or better yet, subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? All right, let's get to the comics. Um, this, as I mentioned, was something I collected in uh, in my younger years, if you will. It w I was in school and, yeah, like any young kid, I wanted comic books. And um, these were some of the comic books that were available at the time, so I bought them. Now, this is The Avengers. And I'm talking about The Avengers when we had uh, members like Star Fox. And uh, this was the time when um, She-Hulk had left and she joined the Fantastic Four. Uh, this series was written by, at the time, Roger Stern. And the artist involved, usually, was Ellen Milgram and Joe Sinnott. And they had, a, I guess, a, a good team, a good art team, a good creative team on the Avengers at the time. I bought um, issue 246 because that was... Um, the issue that was available at the uh, retailers at the time because where I'm from there were no local comic shops and uh, the only ones who um, distributed comic books uh, were the newspaper vendors and so on so uh, I was lucky that they actually had comic books for sale the only thing I didn't like was this yeah the price tag I've tried to take these off and the more I tried uh, the less successful I got, so I just gave up and just left them on. Uh, this issue of um, Avengers, the Mighty Avengers, by the way, uh, 246, um, is in pretty good condition, surprisingly, because it's been over, what, it's over, over 30 years, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not exaggerating, because uh, I bought this when I was in school, and, um, yeah, it survived quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of, uh, damage and abuse from yours truly and moving on to issue number 247 still written by Roger Stern uh, art by Ellen Milgram and Joe Sinnott this featured the Unimind and if I'm not mistaken these are the Eternals yes yes the Eternals Cersei right there and um, at the time I was really excited to read this because it was pretty exciting now uh, moving on to issue number 247 from 247 rather, we move on to 248, still the Eternals saga in the Mighty Avengers, this is 248. Um, I don't know what possessed me at the time, but um, I bought not one, not two, but as you can see, three copies of this, three, three copies of the Avengers issue 248. Um, I'm not sure why. Uh, I guess at the time comic books uh, cost 60 cents and I guess they were affordable and I just I guess I went crazy and I, since all three or maybe I don't know how many copies were in uh, in the newsstands at the time but I just bought three copies uh, which is something I wouldn't be able to do nowadays I would like to but I don't I don't think I can afford it that was uh, 248 oh look at this I still have another copy of 247, I can't believe it. I don't know what I was doing with so many copies of the Avengers, and I mean multiple copies of that. Um, speaking of which, another copy of 246, uh, which is in pretty good condition as well, surprisingly. Okay, let's, let's see if I have any other uh, copies of the Avengers, all right? Oh, how about that? I do. Now, this issue is issue 248. Nine and 249 uh, suffered some uh, damage to this book. There's some water damage as well, some watermarks. I don't know how they got there, but I've been keeping all of these comics in my storeroom, so I guess some damage 
something must have happened to them. Uh, 249 is a really great issue because it stars the mighty Thor, Hercules, and the Fantastic Four, and a full force of Avengers going against a demon storm. This is part of the um, storyline which was uh, started in the pages of the mighty Thor by Walt Simonson. And this is one of the... Uh, tie-ins to that uh, storyline on the mighty Thor. From issue 249 we move on now to the big one. Why? Because it features not one but two teams. At the time we had the East Coast Avengers and then we had the West Coast Avengers and this was I guess um, when they got together to face Maelstrom. Um, this is a double size, double team uh, issue and um, unfortunately at the time I was reading this comic so many times um, the staplers, the uh, it came loose and again uh, like in my previous video I have this really stupid solution to everything which is to use tape. Uh, you can see there's a discolorization here because this is this part is the tape, this part is the normal page. Yeah, I'm gonna flip it open and see if there's any... okay yeah I also taped the inside of the book. Yeah, genius I know. Oh there you go. Uh, what happens when you do this is that uh, sooner or later the tape will deteriorate and I think it's starting to but uh, I hope uh, I hope I don't have to throw this away I, I, I probably will keep it because I'm not gonna throw this away at all this is issue 250 the big one now with uh, issue 250 um, Alan Milgram and Joe Sinnott uh, went over to do the regular series of West Coast Avengers and a new team came on actually Joe Sinnott um, if I'm not mistaken he was he inked oh uh, yeah he um, stayed back as the inker for the Mighty Avengers Bob Hall took over as regular penciler for a few issues and I thought Bob Hall really did a great job because uh, this was the beginning of a storyline that involved um, the vision really interesting one and he did the artwork was great he did a great job uh, this one too I used tape to fix because uh, this comic was falling apart as well as you can see discolorization and I believe the tape is coming off and apparently I was dumb enough to do the same thing to issue 252 of the Mighty Avengers as well. Wow, yeah you can definitely see the tape there. Uh, some water damage as well, watermarks everywhere but I tell you one thing, uh, these comics do bring back a lot of great memories. Beautiful artwork and uh, great storyline by Roger Stern. More Avengers. This one is Avengers 253. Now 253 featured a great cover by Keith Pollard, um, a veteran artist, and I really like this one. And unfortunately, I also used tape on this issue of the Avengers. Only on the outside though this time. Okay, moving on. Oh, another one. Now this one had Bob Hall doing the cover, inked by Joe Rubenstein, uh, The Mighty Avengers 254. Again, I used tape to fix this one because at the time it was falling apart. Did I use tape on the inside? Yes, I did. How about that? Look at the artwork here. I think it's beautiful. From 254, we move on to 255. Now, 255 featured a brand new creative team. Um, we had uh, John Buscema and Tom Palmer taking over as uh, the regular creative team together with Roger Stern. This was also the time when comics started to change their price from 60 cents to 65 cents. And look at this beautiful painted cover by Tom Palmer. Um, for some reason, I did not use tape to fix this one. Maybe because uh, uh, despite its condition, I, I thought it was still okay, that it didn't need any tape. This is a classic John Buscema artwork right here with a great story by, yes, uh, Roger Stern. Moving on to Avengers 256, Into the Savage Land. This was the issue, I hope I'm not spoiling it for anyone, but this is the issue when the Avengers uh, met a character by the name of Terminus at the last page of this particular issue. All right, I'm going to move this back a little bit. All right, make some room. From 256, we move on to uh, 265. I think I missed a few issues, well, more than a few, of the Avengers. Um, 
and by this time comics the price for comics had jumped to 75 cents now uh, issue 265 was a crossover from Secret Wars 2 and again it featured the art of John Buscema and Tom Palmer and the Avengers faced the wrath or rather the rage of the beyond look at that next is uh, Avengers 273 um, this was the time when Marvel was celebrating their 25th anniversary, I believe. So they had this uh, little collage that was drawn by uh, John Romita Sr. and the Black Knight there by John Buscema and Tom Palmer. This was also uh, leading up to uh, the Avengers Under Siege storyline. Uh, this is Avengers 274, Hercules' Last Stand. If you haven't read um, Avengers Under Siege, try and find it. You will enjoy this uh, particular issue and this storyline. It is one of the best by Roger Stern. Moving on to the final Avengers comic in my collection, uh, issue number 275, The Avengers, The Absorbing Man and uh, Titania goes up against um, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Will they be able to stop them? Ah, you have to read these issues to find out. Well, that's all I have for you for this edition of the Cosmic Comic Book Broadcast, looking at some of my old comic books. I will have another video for you as I dig up another batch of comics. Again, if you like uh, my videos, hey, leave me a comment, leave me a like, please. Or better yet, hey, subscribe to my channel. It is the Cosmic Comic Book Broadcast here on YouTube. Uh, your comic book broadcaster saying take care, and I'll see you again next time right here on the Cosmic Comic Book Broadcast. Bye for now.